bit more of a complex video this time. Um, I thought today we'd take a look at the digital format on the Quantum and we'll go into the sampling section. So I thought we'd have another play with the comb filter today. Now for some reason there are almost no clips on the internet about comb filtering. And I think it's a super interesting way of manipulating sound and getting brand new sounds. What we'll do is we'll load up a uh, sample first. And I'm going to go for this one, which is me abusing a guitar slightly. So let's... Now instead of being in particle mode, I want to go back to sample mode. So I've got three different samples here. I've got the initial sort of banging the guitar. If I grab the start of the other samples, I like the harmonics of the strings resonating, but it's too much of a uh, too much of a drum sound for what I'm looking for. So let's go the first one. Let's kill the other two. Yep. All right, we've got the sample. Let's go into the digital form. All right, let's go full and let's start coloring it. I'm going to do is I'm just going to tune it. So it sounds like we're applying more an LFO than anything else, but we can refine that. is not moving. So let's try tracking the filter against the pitch. So we'll grab that and go to 100% I think. There we go. sustain it longer. Let's let's go to particle again. Um, 
particle, particle, particle. Aha! Traffic. So when I turn on travel, it's actually going to continue to move through the sound. So as you can see, slower. And this is just our original sample. I've added no reverb, no delay. Mm. What happens if I add an envelope to the digital format? Let's, let's try that. So that's fun. Let's use filter 2. Let's make it slow and very slow release. So we want to grab filter 2 and we want to send... Let's try a lot of that first. Digital format amount. Let's try that. <laughs> probably, probably a bit much. Oh, I like that. <laughs> ah, Halloween. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I don't know if I'm going to be doing clips weekly, but definitely getting back in the groove. And as I keep promising, hopefully some new content and some new ideas around the channel. Other than that, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And of course, I make these videos for you. Chat to you next time.